All right, dear students, uh, so in the last uh, lecture we were looking at the Reynolds average Navier Stokes equation. So that is going to cover then the momentum equation. So now we want to have a look a bit on the energy and uh, derive something like the energy equation. So, energy equation. Okay, for that we first need to define what the energy is. So the energy we say is, uh, we define it as E as a function of x, the location, vector, and time. That is one half u scalar u, or an index uh, notation that's one half ui ui. All right, so um, uh, this is just uh, the, the total energy of the entire flow, and we now want to apply now our Reynolds uh, uh, decomposition on that. So we say the mean energy uh, has two components, E of x of t. One is the energy of the mean flow, we denote that here with E bar which is a fun function of x and t, and the turbulent kinetic energy, which is also a function of x and t. You can call that the case k. So this one is the energy of the mean flow. And this one is the turbulent kinetic energy. <clears throat> All right, and uh, the energy of the mean flow, E, is then one half u scalar u. So we just take the mean velocity of the, uh, the, the um, uh, mean velocity components, and uh, we can do define our energy on that. And uh, or in index notation, this one would be one half ui ui. And the turbulent kinetic energy k is then one half u scalar u. So the fluctuating part. In index notation, this one is then one half ui ui. Because this one becomes quite important later on, uh, I want to write it out. Uh, so this one is equal one half u one square plus u two square plus u three square. So you see these are the lowercase u. So these are only the fluctuating part. You square it, and then you take the the mean value of it. And if you add them all up, so in the x, y, and z directions, so in all three directions, then you can obtain the, the turbulent kinetic energy. All right, so um, how do we, do we move on from here? So how do we get now the transport equation for the energy? We start with the uh, Reynolds average Navier Stokes equation, and uh, we will multiply that with uh, u to essentially to get uh, then an uh, expression for the mean kinetic energy. You see, this one is just something like u times u. So if you have a transport equation for the Reynolds average Navier Stokes equation for u already, for the momentum, then you just need to multiply that with u, and then you would get something. And how to do that, uh, we, we go, go on right now. So we start with the Rands. So the uj dt is then equal minus one half, sorry, minus one over rho, so e p dxj plus mu times e2 uj dxj square minus e 
U I U J. The exact. Okay. So the total derivative, the, the temporal change plus the convective part, the pressure term, the viscous term, and the uh, um, uh, Reynolds stress tensor over here. Okay, so I want to rewrite the viscous term here a little bit in a different form. So this one here. Call it A. So A. This one is mu times E2 uj. I'm going to write that out here to dxi dxi. So this one is dx. So dx. Okay, this one's dx out square. <clears throat> so the free index here is j. So yeah, it cannot be. You cannot have two two indices of j over here. Okay, so this one is an i. Please correct it. So that's dxi dxi. Okay, so this one <coughs> becomes then mu times d dxi d u j dxi. <coughs> I can rewrite that as mu times d uxi, this one stays, now d uj uxi, this one is there as well, plus I add another term here, d uj dxj. Why can I add that? Because this term here, d uj, over dxj, this one is the continuity equation. Uh, duj dxj is equal to zero from continuity. So I'm just going to add zero there, essentially. <coughs> but uh, with this, I can rewrite this one a little bit differently. I call this one now here. Two mu d dxj as ij. If I now define oops, sij as one half d uj dxi plus d ui dx. <clears throat> so, and with that, um, uh, we can now um, continue to, to move on. So, essentially, I'm just rewriting this term here. I'm doing that because uh, it's a bit easier to, to carry this term here, and we can derive some uh, um, interesting things uh, a bit later on.